This tutorial is brought to you by VDevo. Hello video creators, welcome to Storytium. In this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to show you how you can collect all your project files and then save this as a complete project in a separate folder. And now you're probably wondering, why should I do that? Well, you might want to use this feature to open your project on another computer or to share this project with someone else. And you could also use this to organize your project or just to save your project so you can reuse this in the future. Anyway, more than enough reasons to learn about this feature, so let's jump straight into Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I've got a demo project opened including some videos, music and a couple of images. Some of the clips are not used and some of them are used in a sequence. In total we've got three sequences, the main sequence and two nested ones. The files in this project are coming from different file locations on my computer and some of them are from an external drive and some of them are from a network share. So if I would open this project on another computer I would probably get a lot of media offline errors. Ok so let's say that we want to save this project and collect all the items that we used into a single folder ready for transport. To do this you need to go up here to file and then go to project manager. And that will open up this project manager window. And here we're going to collect all the project items that we want to save in a separate folder. On top you'll find the sequences that we have available in this project. I also want to include the nested sequences so I'm going to enable the checkbox. Next you want to select the option that says collect files and copy to new location. This option will just copy all the original source files as they are. There's also an option to transcode the files, but we don't need that option for our purpose. Below that you've got the option to select a folder for your collected files. I'm going to save this on my E drive in the temp folder. And if you're not sure you have enough disk space left, you can always run a check here. And on the right here you've got a couple more options to choose from. The first option allows you to exclude unused clips. So to be clear, Premiere will only collect the clips that are used in the selected sequences. If you want to include all the clips in your project, then uncheck this checkbox. And then we've got two options to include metadata from Premiere like audio conform files and preview files. I would recommend to leave these options as they are because this allows Premiere to open and load the project faster. And finally you've also got the option to rename your files in case you also change the name inside Premiere. And that's it for the options, we can now just click on OK to start collecting. And sometimes you receive a message that the project needs to be saved first. You can click on yes to continue. And depending on the size of your project this can take a couple of minutes. But after processing you will find all your project files in the folder that you selected. And as you can see Premiere has organized all the files in this structure. A complete project including media ready for transport or to be reused. Thanks to Vidivo.net for sponsoring this short tutorial. Vidivo is an excellent source for free and premium stock footage. They currently offer more than 15,000 free stock video clips and motion graphics. And they also offer an extended library with more than 170,000 premium stock video clips and audio tracks. Be sure to check them out and use the discount code STORYSHIM20 to claim a 20% discount on one of their premium plans. The links can be found in the video description. And that's it for today, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.